What is up guys, it is Pup, the coach of the Green Bay Drillbers, and your favorite Draft League YouTuber, probably, probably not, probably, probably, maybe, maybe, uh, but anyways, we are here with uh, week four of the APL Storm, we had a very nice win against Aaron, our one of our biggest rivals, um, last week, it was pretty hacksy, but uh, it kind of went both ways not in that matchup but in our matches in zero zone he got hacked over me i got hacked over him in this one uh, so it's kind of even ish i guess you could say but anyways we got to look forward to the future and we fight against a crepus goal um know them from the gwa they're a great battler um they're doing insane in the gwa right now i think they have the three seed um, although i did get a nice easy win against them earlier this season but in the APL division they have a crazy 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 team uh, if you guys don't want to watch this team builder free, feel free to skip ahead but uh, make sure you leave a like and subscribe first so let's go over our teams I'm gonna have my Terra Latias um, I have Scizor, Terra Petrun, Rabombi, Crocodile, Inteleon, King Gambit, Belly Bolt, Terrakion, uh, Typhlosion and Munchlax. While on Crepuscule's team, they have Terra Coma O, Iron Treads, Tornadus Therian, Milotic, uh, Pheasantipity, Umbreon, Suian Arcanine, Azelf, and Terra Arbalava. So they have a very, very scary team. I'm definitely worried about that Coma O. It's insane into my team. It's all always just insane with Terra. Uh, and it's uh, playing Gris Soul to boost all of its stats with just like cutting a little bit of HP. I'm also worried about Azelf. can kind of just run through my team if it's like choice specs or if it's like just some sort of life orb variant. It's really, really good into me. Um, they also have the Arcanine that just clicks buttons versus me. I don't really have a good switch into a head. I mean, what what is that? The rock move called head smash. Yeah, yeah. but uh, hopefully they just miss all of their head smashes. Hopefully um, I'm going to start off King Gambit is not my first Pokemon. That's actually my last. I'll go over it first because it's on screen. We got the King Gambit with black glasses, Supreme Overlord with a Sucker Punch, Sword Stance, Kowtow Cleave, and Iron Head. It's actually really, really good into their team. Once I get a Sword Stance up, I pretty much destroy everything with Sucker Punch. And the stuff that I don't is like Arbalava that I already outspeed. And the, uh, the Umbreon that can't touch me at all, really. All it can do is foul play, which it's not gonna do too much even if I am plus two. Um, this just destroys all their like more defensive Pokemon, um, which is, includes their entire like middle line there with the Milotic Fessendipity and that Umbreon. Also really does well into the Arbalava. Um, can beat an Azelf depending on what kind of set it's running. If it's not running any, um, it's not running any fighting move. And if it's not like a subset, then we can just like Sucker Punch or just Kowtow. Um, so this is pretty good into their team. Thought it was a nice, hopefully in the late game to clean up. Now we'll go on to our first Pokemon, which is going to be the Petrun. I have Mirror Herb with Poison Puppeteer, Malignant Chain, Hex, Recover, and Nasty Plot. This is my Coma O switch in. As long as they're not like Terra Steel, I should be able to beat them 1v1 every single time. I can always switch in on the Klingra's Soul and get a boost to all of my stats. I can Nasty Plot in their face and then just Hex, and I can really destroy their entire team. At that point, if I'm plus 3 special attack and plus 1 speed, I don't think they have a Pokemon on their team that can take me on. I don't think they have a single one, which is actually kind of crazy. The only thing that they might be able to do is have some sort of Scarfer that can uh, outspeed and knock me out, but I will still have uh, all the boosts, so we'll see what happens. Rocking Max Special Attack with a lot of speed, just to make sure we outspeed that Como every single time, and then the rest in HP. Next up, we have the Belly Bolt with the Leftovers, Static, Muddy Water, Discharge, Slack Off, Protect. I didn't feel like running Toxic on this one. I, I mean, it could be really good into like that Milotic. It could be good into Umbreon. It could be good into Azelf, Arbalava. Um, yeah, honestly, let's put Toxic on this thing. I'm going to change it right now. I think Toxic is really good against them. Um, I, I did have Protect on there just to scout out like any like scarf moves from the Arcanine. If they do end up bringing a scarf on that thing, but I think Toxic is going to be better in the long run anyways. Um, it also made it so that I can not get to a KO'd by, I think it was the 
the Flare Blitz if they're like a Choice Scarf set. And I just like protecting get my leftovers back, but it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna static them anyways and just knock them out with Muddy Water. So yeah, that's just how it's gonna go. Come on, man. Like, get with the program, you know. Uh, but next up, we got Choice Band Scizor with a Technician, a Bullet Punch, U-Turn, Knock Off, and Close Combat. This thing is insanely powerful against their team. Uh, depending on some Terras, we can absolutely just like sweep their team late game with Bullet Punch. Um, if that Como is anything weak to it, if it's like some Fairy, which is actually not too bad into my team, uh, is take on Lottie and like Crook, Terrakion sort of things. Um, I can destroy that with Bullet Punch. If it's something that doesn't resist, then I'm just a good revenge killer into it. I can also revenge kill the Arcanine and the Azelf, as well as the Tornadus. So I thought that was really good. Close combat is there for the Umbreon and the Iron Treads. And then U-Turn is just good to get some momentum sometimes, even if I never actually bring it. Then Inteleon is my next Pokemon. If you don't know, I like using Inteleon. That's why he's come to like every single one of these games. Uh, but I have the Scopelens Sniper set again with Snipe Shot, Ice Beam, Dark Pulse, and Aqua Jet. Aqua Jet on this naive nature makes it so I can knock out a Arcanine from about half HP, which is really nice. If I get a crit, then I just destroy it anyways. Um, I, I'm pretty sure those are the Calx. It's been a couple days, um, but I also just do a lot of damage to their entire team. Um, I think I should beat the Milotic 1v1 if I get, like, I don't have to get too lucky with crits, um, but it's like a 50-50 shot to get a crit with Snipe Shot with Scope Lens. And those crits are going to do a lot of damage. So I can beat that thing. I can beat the Umbreon. I can beat Pheasantipity. I really just beat almost everything on their team. And then with max speed on this thing, I outspeed a lot of stuff on their team. I could have, you know, sped crept a little bit for other stuff. But I thought that they might try to read that with their Torn. So I'm just going max speed anyways. Um, I'm not sure if they want to go 100% max speed with their Tornadus in the mean. In the last slot we are bringing latios with terra fighting this week also i kind of forgot with uh petra and i'm terra fairy but uh, i have terra fighting lottie with choice specs draco meteor mist ball or sphere and trick we're gonna try to trick this onto one of the middle pokemon um that umbreon pheasantipity or the milotic and then i can really just destroy their team with a uh, draco and mist ball or Sphere is obviously there for the Umbreon because it eats my hits anyways. Um, but with the Choice Specs, we just drop Dracos and do a lot of damage. Without the Choice Specs, then we uh, pick and choose what we want to kill because Latias is very, very strong to them. And Terra Fighting gives us a lot of extra power on that Or Sphere. Rocking Max Special Attack with a lot of speed to make sure we outspeed the Iron Treads and then the rest into HP. No uh, double dancing set this week. I think I've run it the last three weeks and it hasn't really worked out. Um, not the way that I wanted to at least. So I thought I would try something different. Try to catch my opponent off guard that I know probably watches these videos or at least watches my battles. And uh, we'll see that I've done double dance every single week and I love to bring that. Uh, but that's it for my team builder. If you guys do enjoy, please me be sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the battle. All right, we're here with the battle. I just resized the screen a little bit, but as you can see down there in the bottom right, they did end up bringing Terra Steel Como, which is crazy that they actually brought that. Um, so, I mean, that's really good in my pet run. I did not mean to lead with King Gambit. I did, literally did not click it. And I could definitely die to a Focus Blast. Yeah, Focus Blast destroys me. That's why I literally did not lead this guy. That's interesting. Um, I mean, I could probably go out to Belly Bolt for free. And I could potentially static them. So I'm going to go out to Belly Bolt. And they just taunt me. That's fine. I could have got a hard kowtow off. But I'm a muddy water. They just knocked me off. Uh, no static fine I'm a muddy water again if they go out like I don't know I feel like they should end up switching they go Arbolova which is fine I get the accuracy drop which is pretty nice but they're seed sower um, I can always just throw off a toxic here 
completely freely. They're going to set up screens. I'm fine with that. Playing this really fast at the beginning here, but now I actually have some time to think. I kind of want to bait out the Terra on this thing. And I could go out to King Gambit. Hmm. I'm just going to discharge, get some damage, and see what they're going to do. Obviously reflect. I'm going to go out into my King Gambit this turn, though. I'm kind of playing this fast and reckless, but, you know, that's how I feel like playing. Oh, I could end up going into uh, Petron, or I could... I'm a double toxic. I'm going to toxic them. Because they could go out into the Como. They go out to treads, okay. I mean, I tried. I definitely did try. No, I accidentally <laughs> named Latias Neom instead of Neon. I mean, oh well. They could end up Volt switching out. I do like Taka King one more time. How, like, it sounds so crazy. But I love the extra toxic. Nah, they do just knock off. Okay, we, we, we're just trying to predict each other. Loki, I could just throw off toxics until it lands. Which is funny, like the earthquake. Uh, I guess now it's going to do a good chunk. Hmm, I'm a muddy water this turn. Yeah. They get static. Okay, that's good. I get like zero damage off on them. And I'm just gonna click Toxic this turn. They do Earthquake and they crit, okay. Come on, man. That is very, very unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, what am I supposed to do about that? That's really, really frustrating. We go into Helium and click Snipe Shot. I have a 50% chance to crit this thing, which will knock it out. And I don't get that crit. And they just get a free Bolt Switch, of course. Yeah, that couldn't be more frustrating. Yeah, come on. I am definitely not very happy about how this is going so far. Obviously, I played Belly Bolt super recklessly, um, but I feel like I just need to make sure that that Como never comes in. Obviously, I have Petrant that can deal with it, but he's Terra Steel, which is good against me. It means I can't talk to him. I end up going Milotic. And if I crit this thing with a snipe shot, like, it's doing a decent chunk. And, like... I might as well just hit it. No crits, and they're just gonna coil up. Like, okay. Obviously, this is very, very bad for me right now. I'm gonna go Lottie. And click Trick. As they Dragon Tail me. Okay. I'm gonna do it one more time. This is just going horribly. And the Hydro Pump does nothing. But I'm just gonna trick them, give them the choice specs. Get another crit! Are you kidding? Are you actually kidding? Like, what am I supposed to do, man? I could go into Sulfur. Would they Dragon Tail? Uh, but they have Azelf in the background still. Like, I don't have a good way of beating this thing. I'm just going to go Helium. Snipeshot Crit does more than Dark Pulse, but I can always flinch. And it does literally nothing. They're just going to drag and tail me out into the Petra run. 
I'm gonna tear a fairy and nasty plot. Now I get a, I'm just gonna click hex if that, like in case that iron treads comes in. I don't know, like I'm in a really bad spot. Obviously like as elf destroys me. I mean, it doesn't because I'm Terra Fairy. I do get uh, the Great Tusk down though. And I mean, what's what's the play now for them? Because I gave up my Terra already. So if they have Terra Blast or Iron Head on Como, like it's pretty much GG. But if they do set up a Clangorous Soul, like, I'll get the boost, be able to hit them. They go Milotic. What is Milotic doing to me here? Like, actually, I mean, okay, a Hydra Pump is actually gonna do a lot of damage. How much would Hydra do to King Gambit? A lot. If I can Kowtow, I could also go Scizor. I need this thing in the back still. I mean, I can always recover off this damage. I just, I'm not sure what to do. I'm gonna sack off the Inteleon. They miss the Hydro Pump anyways, like... Ah, that's annoying. I'm just gonna snipe shot. I finally get one of the crits. They take me out. I'm gonna go King Gambit. And Kowtow Cleave will knock them out. Sucker Punch also will. Do I let them live? I'm just gonna Sucker. Yeah, they do. Just die. Let it go down, so that's good at least. I'm just worried about that coma o Now if they go Arbalova here and Terra, then I'm in a fine spot. This thing actually, like, unless they have some sort of move for it on coma o I might be in a good spot. They go Torn. I'm just gonna Kowtow. Heat Wave does not take me out with another crit. That's crazy. And they go out to Como. I'm gonna go Petrun. What am I supposed to do? I set up a sub. That's fine. I can always break it with Malignant Chain. Oh, I was stupid. Okay. And their Belly Drum. Alright, I should have just clicked Hex last turn and I would have been fine against this thing. But I was not. Luckily, I can just Sucker Punch this guy. This is actually absolutely unbelievable. Scizor still could potentially win though. Yeah, I, I actually think Scizor might win this game. What is Arbalova doing? I have a chance to knock this thing out. And they're just gonna set up the reflect, okay. Um, I'm gonna kowtow. No, I'm just gonna sucker. I need the damage. Seed sower. I end up living. I might live another one as well. I'm gonna go for an Iron Head flinch. I should be faster than them if they're not invested. 
But if they're flamethrower as elf, then like they win the game. I do get a flinch. That's actually huge. I knock him out with Kowtow. Still have a chance. Hmm. I could still win this game, technically. Torn doesn't die to bullet punch this range. I'm gonna kowtow predicting them to switch out. No. I should always sucker. But if they switch out, it's a throw. I do sucker. Awesome. And then I think Sucker plus uh, Bullet Punch should take out Azelf. Oh, Sucker just takes it out. So despite all the hacks, I think we could pull it off depending on their Azelf set. If they have any like non um, non attacking moves, then they probably just win. I don't know. How many suckers? We only have two suckers. I'm gonna click it here. They might just be trying to play with uh, my mind. Yep, they set up rocks. And I'm gonna waste my last sucker. I'm just going to do it. It comes down to the sucker mind games. I mean, but actually scissor. I don't know. After the reflect is gone. They have to have flamethrower though. Which should destroy my scissor. It does. I'm always suckering here. I do. I get it. I win. <laughs> Somehow I win that battle after so much hacks. Like, the, the crazy game. The, you were a little upset? The audacity. That's absolutely crazy. They had a lot of game-changing plays uh, go their way. And, um, I mean, they say I got a roll. Like, I'm black glasses. Is it still a roll onto that torn? Like, even if they're max HP... It's like, I still have a good chance to knock them out. Like, it is what it is. Um, I, they definitely got a lot more lucky than I did in this battle, and I wouldn't have had to uh, play the way I did if not for all that. So, yeah. So that's about it for this week's battle. Um, I, I guess we win. Whatever. Um, but I'll see you guys in week five. Peace out.